Whether you're blue or feeling like the goat, there's no food as sharp or as good as cheese. Yes, cheese, the sometimes stinky, very melty, often powerful wedge of moldy milk stuffs. But when presented with a bunch of different expensive cheeses, how do you know which one you wanna buy? Today, I'm gonna figure that out by trying 26 different cheeses hand-selected by a cheesemonger. Also, all of my guests today will be women. Also, also, I think everyone in this video today will be lactose intolerant. My name is Jason Lewis. I'm a cheesemonger at Bon Vivant in Atwater Village. I've been doing this for about 12 years. My job is to make cheese relatable to you. Sometimes people are a little intimidated. They don't know what to expect. It smells funny. It could be a little bit moist. It can be a little bit hard. It can be a little bit flaky. It can be overwhelming. But my job is to make that easy. We're gonna start with the soft cheeses. Our fresher, younger cheeses are softer cheeses like a mozzarella, feta, that have high moisture content. Come on in. Wow, this is so exciting. I never get to eat cheese because it, it really fucks me up, but in these videos, like, all the food fucks me up, right? Like, it's not good to eat a bunch of Taco Bell, so it's not good to eat a bunch of cheese, but who cares? You don't come here because it's a good idea. You come here because I'm doing it. I'm living the dream. Henri Houtan Brie Couronne. Brie Couronne with chives. Oh, it smells like an expensive restaurant. Mmm, very mild flavor, buttery. Oh, it just, just tastes like butter. Ooh, oh, 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 wow. It is like eating a tablespoon of the most delicious butter. A little toasted bread, maybe? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, and a little honey, why not? juice from a cow and vomit from a bee. And they work together to create an amazing, amazing flavor. And the description of that is pretty gross. It's only gonna get better. Oh my gosh, let's go to the next one. What, what do we got next? Thank you, Brie. Brebirus de Argental. The red sheep. Look at it, it's like a slime. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> It kind of has a sharpness like a cheddar might, but it's so wet. Sticky, stretchy ice cream texture. It's really quite complicated. It's like this brightness, like acidity or something. Oh, this day is great right now. Thank you, cheese. Briette Savarin coated with fresh fruit. This smells like cream cheese, like cheesecake, buttercream. I'm biting into the most delicious New York cheesecake. Oh, wow. I feel like when you're watching America's Got Talent and somebody who you didn't think was gonna sing so well starts singing, you're like, oh, you're so moved by their story. It's like moving me to tears, it's so delicious. Fucking God, it's good. It's fucking nuts right now. I'm, I'm living. There's so much flavor in each bite. The cheeses have been so different. Mmm, -hmm. wow. So good. Zimbro. Zimbro? Zimbro. 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 And this is from Portugal? Yep. Shout out to Portugal! Oh, I, I picked it up, look at it. I thought this was gonna be solid like cheddar and look at it, this one really is slime. Look at that. Portugal, oh. Whoa, it's so confusing. I got a bitterness. Oh, and then it's really funky and bitter at the end. And it touches like the back sides of my tongue. Uh-uh, right there. I think it needs something equally strong to fight, like an olive. And that one needs some serious balance because this is intense. What's that bitterness at the end of it? It's raw sheep milk. It's raw sheep milk. Yep. So it's not pasteurized. Nope. Oh my gosh, thank goodness I'm not pregnant. Préféré de montagne. Mmm, from the cows of the mountain. The mountain's favorite. It smells kind of like a cheese section of a grocery store, that just general cheese smell. It is so different tasting. What should I eat this with? Jam on it. Jam on it. Okay, luckily I have some June Lady Peach Jam. It's a good name for jam if I've ever heard one. Oh, I caught the funk of this cheese this time. I don't know if the fruit unlocked it or what, but I don't know about this one, guys. This one's challenging me in ways I wasn't ready to be challenged. It's got like the funk of a blue cheese, but not the other part of blue cheese. It's like just the funk, a little bit footy. A club of foot. A foot above the rest, let's say. People like their different kinds of cheese, but this one, I don't like it. I think I've decided it's too challenging for me. Well, I'll still kiss it goodbye. 
Dairy pill break, because we're about to have a bunch of brie. Brie of truth. Whoa, the fucking what is the whoa? <laughs> Look at this. It looks like a giant matzah. So many moms around the country are just like, I want that. <laughs> I want that Brie at my party. It's Captain Marvel Brie. That Brie's gonna come in and just like, it only comes when it like absolutely has to because that Brie's taking care of other important matters. Wow, that's what it looks like? Oh my God, it's oozing. <laughs> God, holy shit. The Brie au truth is a giant Brie wheel that has been layered with creme fraiche, mascarpone, and black truffle. How pricey. Roughly around $27 on the half pound. Oh, that's pretty pricey for yeah, a half a pound. Very much worth it. Oh my God, you can't even see it because it's oozing over itself, but there's like other layers in this Brie. I don't even know how to eat it. It's so wet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh wow, this, this is too much. I'm putting way too much flavor in my mouth. I just took a drop of it. <laughs> oh, I'm like having an anxiety attack. <laughs> that's too much cheese. Wow, that's one of the most intense things I've put in my mouth ever. <laughs> That's coming from me. Maybe I should wait till I'm older and more of my taste buds have died. If you gave this to a kid, he'd straight up vomit in your face. <laughs> it is so challenging. That's it for the softies. Now let's move to the semi-soft. Semi-soft cheeses are a little bit firmer, still yield a high moisture content. Cheeses with bloomy rinds, washed rinds, typical of brie, camembert. Car du Berry. Car du Berry. Berry. From Poitou, France. Ooh, France. Oh, it smells good. Oh, you know what it smells like when you're a child and you go to the bread place? You go in and it smells like a really good bread place. It smells like a good bread place. It tastes like um, a really good Italian olive oil dip at a restaurant for your bread. I'm gonna get some of these herbs. Not a ton of them, because he said I won't like it. I love it. Oh, fuck yeah. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho. this tastes like a Williams Sonoma. Wow, that is awesome. I want that spread onto bread and served to me every time I have dinner. Back in the day when I didn't have any money and we were drunk, well, we couldn't buy actual food, so we'd just eat spices. We would stand in the kitchen and pour small amounts of spices into our hands and then just lick our hands. This is kind of like that. Mmm. Wow! Hot shit coming through. Thank you. Proof Rock from Martha's <laughs> Vineyard. <gasps> Martha's Vineyard. I have heard my mom talk about that place. It's got a good gumminess to it. Squishes very nicely. Oh shit, guys, it smells good. I think this would be tremendous with wine. Oh, it is. It's not my favorite. I do like it. It's kind of like when you get all this anticipation, you go to this place that's supposed to be really luxurious and nice, and you get there and it's like raining. Like it's out of season, like the trees aren't blooming yet or something. You're like, oh, I was so excited to go to Martha's Vineyard, but it was just okay. I know like Samantha went and she had a great time, but like I went, it was just okay. That's how I feel about this cheese. <laughs> I've had so much fun eating cheese, but I can't keep eating cheese alone. It's time to get some experts in cheese into this taste test. Starting with one woman, Kelsey Dara. You wanna try this herby cheese? Yeah. Oh. Right? Can I have a lactate? Yes, you may. So, Kelsey, you mm -hmm. love cheese. You've made a lot of content around cheese. You're a big cheese head, I but you, cheese. like me, are lactose intolerant. Only with cow's milk. Ah. I can have goats and sheeps. I don't know why, but white bitches love cheese. I think it's because they love wine, and so cheese just pairs so naturally with it. But didn't you love cheese as a child before you had wine? Oh, yeah. How early did you have wine? Pretty early. Mm. Meredith Dairy. Marinated goat. Also, I love how she's bathing yeah. in olive oil. Just she lives there. <gasps> okay, don't have to tell me twice. I got a leaf. Oh, you got an herb. Should I keep it on there? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Thanks for inviting me to maybe the best video I've done. Wow, what does that taste like? It is actually unbelievable. It's butter. It's like a really salty butter this that's so butter. delicious and has a really good olive oil that it's just living in. I feel like I need to take advantage of this. Like expensive steakhouse salt butter. Mm. Oh, it's expensive butter you'd put on a steak. Kelsey. Should I take it off? <laughs> I'm sorry. Kelsey. <laughs> it does something to me. It takes over. I could eat this whole, whole jar. 
I it's might. A, we gotta take it away from us. No, leave it. Can I hide it under here? <laughs> no, Kelsey. Okay, take it. We have to. Mont St. Francis. From Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now, how do you eat something like this with the crust on it? You can actually eat the rind. That has been bathed in Russian imperial stout. Beer, so it's a beer cheese. A Russian, a stout Russian emperor. <laughs> <gasps> smells very nice. It smells like a hard cheese. It does smell which like Which I hard like. Cheese. How does something smell hard? It smells hard. Mmm. <laughs> It Ooh. just has a little tang, a little bitter, very salt forward. Oh yeah, this is nice. Mm. You really go through about five flavors throughout the, the taste here. You it start, starts mild. Mm -hmm. And then it gets a little funk for a moment. Then it gets sharp and it's salty. Oh, what a journey. Mm -hmm. Multifaceted. Oh wow. It's simple, very palatable. It's lightly complex, so you could like be like, oh, you like most cheeses, right? Well, you love this, even though it's a little bit challenging. This it's, is an everybody mm -hmm. cheese. Can someone make me into a cheese when I die? I don't know if it works like that. You could make cheese out of your breast milk if you ever had that. Mm. I don't I'm know not I'm suggesting like... you do. I'm just saying your options are open. Le Brebis du Wavremont. It means sheep. It's the sheep of Wavremont. Whoa, it is. <laughs> that, no joke. Any cat owner will know the smell. It smells exactly like a fresh cat shit. The little I stuff that gets under your toenails. Ah! If you've ever smelled that because you're a curious 12 year old, <laughs> that is that. You like the red sheep. You're right. You oh my God, you're so right. I'm judging a cheese before okay, let's, I, let's I start, try it. Let's start small simple here. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. It tastes how it smells. Ooh, jam on it. Mm. I love cheese, but this is too much. This is a challenging cheese. The only things we've described it with so far have been fecal matter and dead skin. <laughs> oh no, it just tastes so much like it yeah, smells. Yeah, no, I taste it now. Yeah. I can't handle it. Wow. Wow, that's not a good cheese. Humboldt Fog. One of my okay. favorites. Everybody loves this and it's great. You can get it anywhere. And that's why I have it. It's just like one of those like, oh no. Because basic bitches love it. Oh yeah. Right, it looks like it's gonna be super complicated and funky, but it's actually pretty mild funk. It kind of smells like Cool Whip. Cheers. 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 Mmm, that is creamy. Mm, very comforting. Super palatable. Close your eyes, Gussie. What's this make you think of? This makes me think of like a river afternoon where you're close to the river, you know? That's not how I would have described it, but I gave you the mic, so that's how it is. Paint me a picture. I walk into an empty living room. Oh, Jesus. There's a plate of cheese on the table. I look around. I see that there's clearly been a party in this living room. I wasn't invited, but look, now I get to eat all that's left over. It's all for me. How lovely. Cheese. <laughs> you ate so much of it. No, I did. Why'd you do that to yourself? You weren't looking. It's gonna hurt you. Um, now I'm satisfied. Well, good, because it's time for you to go. I don't want to, but I will. Thanks for dropping by. Check out Kelsey Dara's podcast, Confidently Insecure, on YouTube. Thanks for the plug. You got it, girl. Bye. Bye. Well, the soft days are over. Now it's time to get semi-hard. I know, I didn't know how to introduce that, but I'm still gonna get, get the hard cheese later. Bring on the semi-hard, please. <laughs> Some hard cheeses are cheeses that are firmer, yet still retain a little bit of the moisture. They have sometimes holes. They are aged for roughly about six to 12 months. Melusa Majon. From Menorca, Spain. 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 It smells kind of like a cheese cracker. Mmm, that's the texture I'm into. Kind of like a cheese cracker, but like a really delicious cheese cracker. Mmm. It's like looking out at a bunch of cows, and all the cows are looking back at you, and then you see the sheep next to those cows, you see some goats next to those sheep. Everybody's staring at you. It's like being watched by mammals. Esquiru. 2018 world champion. World champion yeah. cheese? There's a world cheese contest. This bested out of 3,300 entries from 26 countries. This got world champion. I'm in the presence of greatness. Smells like a winner. Oh, it's bizarre. It's got a very muted flavor. I liked other cheeses better. Maybe the jam will swap my opinions. Maybe I'm just like getting desensitized cheese. It's too much cheese all at once. I'm starting to feel a little crazy. I like it. I don't, I don't know if I would have given it the world championship title. Oh, that goat cheese in the jar. That shit should be the best in the world. This can be fourth place. 
It's time to bring in some more ladies. That's right, who loves cheese? Ladies love cheese. Please welcome to the stage table, Becky and Lauren. <laughs> Becky, you all know is my lovely wife, but we don't know who Lauren is. Lauren, introduce yourself. What do you do? I eat cheese, actually. So mm. this is really in my wheelhouse. Becky and Lauren often have wine and cheese sort of dates. Keith deprives me at home of cheese. I have to go with friends. Halust Quattro. It's a rare cheese. It's made from four milks. You got goat, sheep, cow, and buffalo. Noah's Ark. Like all the Power Rangers combine the animals together, they have one super. With all our cheeses combined, we are the Quattro. <laughs> the Quattro. I feel like they all just canceled each other out. Yeah, I was like, I don't even taste any goat. Uh -uh. Or really harmonious. Cheese. It's a fine cheese. I wouldn't say it's a good cheese, though. I think it's actually very good. In fact, the second piece I had really melts in the back of the tongue really nicely. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. It tastes good with a nut. All right, close your eyes. It reminds me of like something I would eat in high school. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know? Why yeah. high school? Yeah. Well, you eat weird things in high school, and you're like, oh, this is really good, but then it's not that good. Flor de Escueva, Spanish mm. aged seven months raw sheep smoke. Mm. I actually do really like that one. Kind of funky. Oh, it's creamy. It's bitter, right? On the mm -hmm. top of your tongue. Yeah, you're like, oh. It's a little dangerous. Living life on the edge, mm -hmm. guys, with this cheese. Uh, I like raw cheese. It's kind of gamey. Oh, gamey. This raw cheese is good. Where do you get raw cheese? Ooh, is cheese. this from a sheep? Is it raw? Honey? Honey, that's what it is. Honey? Good. Take some. Mm. Is it good? Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Inanna Alvino. I mean, named after the Sumerian goddess of fertility, love, and sex. Sex cheese. Yeah. Sex cheese. Let's all have a little bit of sex cheese. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, it's it's so hard. Mm. I like this. It's mild. Uh -huh. Got a great texture. It's hard without too much granulation. It's kind of like earthy too. That is a good party cheese. I still think I like the raw one the best. Yeah. The second one. I like this one actually. I mean, it's simple. It's pleasing. Tiniest bit of funk right at the end. Just, just on the rind, I think. Yeah. yeah, like a dirty. Like a dirty little rind. Dirty little rind. Dirty little rind. This hard little sex cheese got a little dirty little rind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Snowdonia, Ruby Mist. Oh, it feels nice and spongy crumb. soft. Oh shit. This is good. This is good. <laughs> this oh, is... I get fucked up on that. Mm -hmm. I think you actually right. would get fucked up on this. It tastes like wine. It tastes like you chucked wine and then threw some cheese in your mouth. That's a dream. Snowdonia Ruby Mist. It Snowdonia. really sounds like a whole fantasy series. Like the Chronicles of Snowdonia. Yeah. The Adventures in the Ruby Mist. We've got to get the cheese all the way to the Ruby Mist. Or else the world's going to end for Snowdonia. Wow, I really wish I could make Snowdonia jokes all day. Ladies, thank you so much for trying some of these semi-hard cheeses with me. Okay, bye. Okay, see ya. Bye. Bye. See you can ya. take your take wine this. if you want. Girl. Take this and head out. And now with this semi-hard stuff, let's bring on the good hard cheese. Hard cheeses, those are cheeses that you typically would grate. Firmer, flaky, saltier, crumbly. They go great on top of pastas, on top of a salad. Barber's 1833. I love sharp cheddar. I want it to be so sharp, my tongue is bleeding. Like I want to get in the Guinness Book of World Records for how sharp it is, and I still ate it. Oh yeah. Nice chew, nice creaminess. Really good cheddar. Oh, I wish I had this on like a roast beef sandwich with some fucking horseradish. You know what I'm talking about? I'm starting to feel real crazy. My stomach is almost entirely like a little volcano of cheese right now. Get it together, Keith! Okay. Cinerino. Sheep smoke from Italy. Ooh, Italian sheep. Romantic sheep. It's coated in the ash of myrtle trees. I'm sorry, it's coated in the ash of murdered trees? Myrtle. Myrtle trees, but they're murdered because they are ash. Yeah. So, wow, all trees are murdered. Now, I am learning that the lamb cheese has a certain funk to it, especially when it's raw, but I can smell the funk in this one even though it's not raw. Mmm. Has that buttery taste, but a, a texture that's obviously not butter because it's harder. This little part by the rind was a little darker. The flavor is like, times five. If you want to fall in love, you and your date eat this cheese because it is romantic cheese. It's salty, it's delicious. You could have conversation over it. What kind of books do you like? Huh, <laughs> me too. But before we get 
to the next cheese, we have to bring in our next cheese lover. Another woman who loves cheese, even though it only does bad, bad things to her. Please <laughs> so welcome to the table stage, Grace Elvig! Yeah! 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 Cheers. Hey, cheers. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me for the one food that hurts my body more than all the others. Vintage Gouda. Look at the fucking size of that. <laughs> Jesus God. This is only half of it. Half of it? Yeah. That's what she said. Oh! 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 This is too nice. Oh, it's right in the it's right in the nice belly. It crumbles. Oh, uh -huh. it crumbles. Wow! Oh. Wow! And it smells like. It smells like buffalo wings. You're full at Buffalo Wild Wings, and you're smelling your hands. It's really good. <laughs> it's sharp. It is sharp and it's dry. It tastes like eating a mild wing with just a little bit of ranch on it. I went to Buffalo Wild Wings not too long ago. Same, so like, I know, really? <laughs> El Trigal. Looks like a, a holographic Pokemon yeah. card. Doesn't have that foil sheen to it, like a special Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh card, yeah. depending on which kind of nerd you were. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> The texture is like chewing on candle wax. A really fun piece of rubber for a second, mm -hmm. and then it gets really flavorful. The flavor at first seems like a little watered down, and then you're like, oh no, there's something in this plastic. Yeah, it's like when you meet someone at a party and they seem really boring, and then all of a sudden they start having a couple more drinks and they open up about mm -hmm. their whole life story, and you're like, wow, you have so much more flavor to you. Mm -hmm. I like this though, I mm -hmm. like it subtle. Sprints. Wow, you, wow, that's huge. Really nice, delicate. Yeah, thin. Wow. When it's really hard, you want it really thin. Yeah, this is just a quarter. <laughs> the entire wheel is probably this big and can weigh well over 100 pounds. Wow. So you could like do CrossFit with that. They kind of yeah. crunch and it's weird. You get this sweet, salty crunch in the middle of a piece of cheese. This might be my favorite of the three that I've had. It seems like it's in between the two. Like the last one was really mild. The first one was a little bolder. Like a sexy old man, right? Like a George Clooney. So old, just the tiniest bit salty. Where he used to be sweet, he's like now a little salty. <laughs> Well, Grace, it's been great having you here. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you coming all this way. You have a podcast. That is true, I yeah. do. Let's yeah. plug it. Yeah, okay. I have a podcast called Not Too Deep that comes out every Wednesday, and then a podcast with my best friend, Mamrie Hart, another content creator called This Might Get Weird. Do you guys have your Patreon? We have a Patreon. Plug that on your own channel. Bye. 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 I'm gonna go shit my brains out now. Okay. <laughs> all right. Everybody's gonna be farting and shitting forever. This is really hard to say, but I'm starting to feel a little blue because the blue cheese is coming up next. Blue cheeses are soft or semi-soft and are injected with penicillin Roquefort tea. It's moldy cheese, punchy, salty. Blue cheese is something I haven't had a lot lately because it's the one that really fucks me up the most. Dana blue. It looks like a blueberry muffin. From Denmark. Denmark! They love cheese and they're very happy people. Shout out to Denmark. Wow, it was so clean. Oh, my breath's gonna smell terrible. Wowza! That's a good cheese! It is like intense through my entire sinuses. It was almost like a horseradish experience. Bread. Bread will tame it down. Some honey, eh? Oh yeah, the honey makes it way better. It actually brings out how salty the cheese is. Ooh. It's like eating too many french fries. Caveman Blue. From Oregon, oh shit. It smells very um, smoky and woody. Kind of like a barbecue, yeah. That's blue cheese that you get on a black and blue salad from fucking Chili's or something. But it's better than the Chili's blue cheese. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. it's changing. <laughs> it's like chewing on salty wood. Oh, that is so bizarre. Oh. Oh, it changed again. What the fuck is this? What's happening? It fully changed flavors several times. Really salty. And my mouth, oh my God, I'm salivating so much. It tastes like sour cream. It tastes like sour cream. And then somebody like went to dash salt on it and they just poured all of the salt they ever owned into this cheese. It is so salty. Thank you. That was wild. Blauer Buffel. Last cheese? From Switzerland. From Switzerland. We're ending with Switzerland. Yeah. Buffalo milk. Buffalo milk. They have buffalo in Switzerland? I thought that was America's cow. It all comes down to this. 26 cheeses on one tummy that hasn't had much cheese at all in the last eight years.
Oh. Uh, I'm crying a little bit. It's so sour and salty and unpleasant, invasive. It stings my mouth. This cheese is just, it's too much for me. It's making me sad. I thought I would love all the cheeses. Maybe that's why it is called blue cheese, because some people get really sad because it hurts them. And I want to enjoy all the cheeses. I want to be the cheese master. It's intense. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And now it is time for me to choose what I think is the best cheese and what I think is the least best cheese. I think I can objectively say that my least favorite cheese today was the one that Kelsey Dara and I had that was so pungent. It smelled only either like fresh cat poop or the stuff that you scrape out from under your toenails. It was too strong for me. I didn't like it. But my favorite cheese was the marinated Meredith Dairy. The goat cheese in the jar. That was the best cheese. And also, good news for me, it's goat cheese, which means I could actually eat it. What another incredible, extravagant eat the menu. What else is out there? I'm down to do it. You only get one life, and I'm gonna take mine. <laughs> Through food. See you next time. Bye, bye, this is Eat the Menu. I'm Keith Habersberger. Try new cheeses, try new flavors. Let your tongue do a dance. If it's bad, guess what? There's a lot of bad shit in life and you'll get over it.